Hello, once again, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. Today we will be discussing um, transforming logarithmic function to exponential form and evaluating logarithmic function. So we just discussed the logarithmic function and its properties. Please watch that video first before watching this. I will put it in our cart. Just click the cart. Then it will direct you in that video. So we discussed that if we have our condition in our logarithmic function, b is greater than 0 and b is not equal to 1, then we have this form. So log y base b is equal to x. And that can be written in exponential form, b raised to x is equal to y. Now, our task is we're going to transform logarithmic function into exponential form. So, we're going to base our answers here. Okay? So, write each logarithmic function in exponential form. Number 1, log x base 5 is equal to 4. Number 2, log 64 base 2 is equal to 6. And number 3, log m base a is equal to 7. If you want to try numbers 1, 2, and 3, just pause the video. Then after answering, resume watching to check your answers. Okay. So from logarithmic form, write into exponential form. So, base raised to the exponent is equal to y. So, here is our given. So, in this case, so our base is, so this is the base. The base is 5. Next, our exponent raised to... 4 is equal to our y is x. Okay. Let us repeat. In this case, our b is 5. Our b is 5. Then our x here is 4. So b raised to x, 5 raised to 4 is equal to x. Next. So our b here is 2 raised to 6 is equal to 64. Number 3, our b is 8. It's the base raised to 7 is equal to so, 1 is 5 raised to 4 is equal to x. Number 2, 2 raised to 6 is equal to 64. And number 3, a raised to 7 is equal to m. So, as simple as that. Now, evaluating logarithmic function. Let's answer the following problems. Evaluate log 2 base 2 what is the value of that? then getting the value so let's say x we're going to find x so we're going to evaluate what will be the value of this? log 32 base 2 we're going to evaluate we're going to find the value Log 64 base 4. Let's get the volume. So let's put x. Log 5 base 25. We're going to find x. Log 1 base 7. What will be the value of this? And log 9 base 9 is equal to x. 
So you can check our properties of logarithm in our previous lesson. So if our base are the same, b and v are the same, so that is equal to 1. But let us prove later. So in this case, we know that log 2 base 2, that is equal to 1. Log 9 base 9, that is equal to 1. But let us prove, okay? So since this is in logarithmic form, we're going to write it to exponential form. So 2 raised to x is equal to 2. So since our base are equal, then let's just equate the exponent. So x is equal to the exponent of 2, since this is a whole number, we know that there is 1 1 is our exponent, so x is equal to 1. Following our property number 1, log b base b, that is equal to 1. Okay? Next, number 2. So we have 2 raised to x is equal to 30. 32, let us write into exponential form. So 2 raised to x, we know that 32 can be written as 2, 2 times 2, that is 4, times 2, 8, 8 times 2, 16, 16 times 2, 32. So we have 2 raised to 5. So... Five. So, our base must be the same in, the, in order for us to equate the exponent. So, in number 2, x is equal to 5. The base must be the same. So, if we have base 2, then the left side and on the right side of the equation must be 2. Next, so we have log 64 base x base 4, so 4 raised to our exponent is equal to 64. So our base is 4. So 4 raised to x is equal to 4. What will be the exponent of 4 to make it 64? So 4 times 4, that is 16. 16 times 4, 64. So the exponent is 3. So, therefore, our x is equal to 3. Okay. Number 4. 25 raised to x is equal to 5. So, Let us find the value for x. We know that 25, that is equal to 5 raised to 1 half x is equal to 5. So let us equate. So let's use this space. So 1 half x is equal to the exponent of y here is. Oh, I'm sorry. So we know that 25, not 1 half, that should be 25 is 5 is square. Right? So 5 is square. So this must be. 5 is square. 5 is square, that is 25. Then just copy x. So the equivalent of 25x is 5 raised to 2x. Now, we know that 5 has an exponent of 1. So let us equate. 2x is equal to, the exponent of 5 is 1. So x is equal to, divide by 2. So x is equal to 1 half. 
Number four, x is equal to one half. Number five, seven raised to x is equal to one. So we have what number we're going to use in order for us to the x must be equal, uh, this value of this expression must be equal to 1. We know that any number raised to 0 is equal to 1. So if we have 7 raised to 0, that would be equal to 1. So our x here is 1. x is equal to 1, or the value of log 1 base 7 is equal to 0. And here, 9 raised to x is equal to 9. So x is equal to the exponent of 9. Here is 1. So this is on how to evaluate logarithmic function. So I'm sorry for number 4. Yeah. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe.